Kate Williams, born on 30th August 1918 in San Diego in California, died on 5th July 2002 in Inverness, Florida. Ted Williams said there's only one way to become a hitter. Go up to the plate and get mad, get mad at yourself and mad at the pitcher. Theodore Samuel Williams was an American professional baseball player and manager. He played his entire 19 year Major League Baseball MLB carried primarily as left fielder for the Boston Red Sox from 1939 to 1960. Nicknamed Teddy Ball Game, the kid, the splendid splinter, and the thumper. Williams is regarded as one of the greatest hitters in baseball history. Williams was a 19-time All-Star, a two-time recipient of the American League AL, Most Valuable Player Award, a six-time AL batting champion, and a two-time Triple Crown winner. He finished his bat playing career with a .344 batting average. 521 home runs and a 482 on base percentage, the highest of all time. Ted Williams said, There's only one way to become a hitter. Go up to the plate and get mad. Get mad at yourself and mad at the pitch. <laughs> There's only one way to become a hitter. Go up to the plate and get mad. He said in another one place, God can take you up to the plate. It's for you to eat in whatever style you wanted. To eat in whatever style you wanted. God can take you up to your plate. And for you to eat, you can eat by force. You wanted more and more taste. When you have more and more taste, artificial taste comes inside. You become sick. You die. If you want to eat, God will take you up to the plate. God will not take you up to the plate. You will be forced to go up to the plate if you work very hard physically and you cannot st stop you cannot hold on to the hunger he reaches that stage anything and everything you'll be able to scoop it no food in the plate can escape <laughs> otherwise you will have a lot of wastage and you are a wastage <laughs> how much of a tasty food you bring it you are still a drunk the drunk doesn't know the taste. He keeps on asking for more, more tasty things. More, more, and you and the drunk don't doesn't become a difference. Ted Williams understood that. He said, "There's only one way to become him: to go up to the plate and get mad. Only a madman can become a wise man." Goes to saying, "Madman in the sense, not the other madman. Madman in the sense that no past, present, future." Is there? It is just living moment to moment. That madness of your consciousness, that you speak the truth, and truth comes automatically out of your mouth, out, automatically out of, out of your way. You lead it. You become an example. That madness. They don't bother about what people are thinking about you. You are bothered about your enjoyment of your hardest labor. That shocks the entire society. And Ted Williams was an example. He understood that is the madness. Only a madman can become a wise man. How do you become a wise man? How do you become mad? He understood by loving a girl. You are totally in love with a girl. You cannot escape. She cannot escape you. Neither you can get her out. The deep intimate. Every one moment is so deeply involved with that subject. Which ball can escape? Yes, no ball can escape on that kind of a deep, intimate relationship. What Jiddu Krishnamurti was trying. The deep, intimate relationship with your subject shocks the whole world. You do not have to depend on a third person. You yourself is the strongest. You yourself is powerful. <laughs> Ted Williams says, that's only one way to become a hitter. Only one way to become the player. Only one way to become you. Only one way for you to sh polish, nobody else should polish. You can take it to the plate, it is for you to eat it. How do you eat it? The stone is right with you, the heart, the hand, the whole body is with you. How you polish it? How you remove the dust and polish it to make it shine like a diamond? It's up to you. And the diamond should be in placed in such a beautiful position. The way you walk and you talk. Comes from your hardest labor. And don't use the term hardest labor. It's a way of life. The hardest came because somebody is forcing you. You want somebody else to force you. You want to become a somebody. Then some, it is forced. Otherwise, love is love. Which smallest thing 
can escape your eye like the Korean Marshal Chakuriki. You can see two and a half kilometers. Whether the lion is coming hungry or he's coming relaxed. If he's coming hungry, escape two and a half kilometers. This eye can he see that far and even understand. I can even understand, I, I can even plan a strategy. What a person looks. The Indian Maharishi says they look at persons and past, present, future. But Chakuruki says that I can see two and a half kilometers. Not only see two and a half kilometers, I can the hear you ears can hear two and a half kilometers. That animal is coming. Which animal is coming? And whether it's coming hungry or not, you can smell two and a half kilometers that far, whether the animals come hungry or not. You can read a past, present, future. You are an astrologer on that particular subject, that deep, intimate relationship with your body. Explodes every myth, you don't become a slave. When you become a slave, when you're forced to eat, then when you look at the taste, tasteful things, then you are a drunkard. Now most of the kids tell mommy, I don't want this food. I don't want that food. You have made the child also a drunkard. The husband come fully drunk. And how much of our uh, tasty food you put? It has no taste because taste buds are dead. Children's taste buds are dead with the, another kind of a liquor. The bottled uh, liquor. The husband is drinking another uh, liquor. The children is drinking another kind of liquor. And you call it a soft drink. But uh, either way... The taste buds have gone. The originality is gone. Yes. You forgot to cook even in 45 minutes in slow fire to watch and see that from the vegetable water is coming and the salt is coming and the oil is coming. You forgot to walk into your garden to pluck a vegetable and bite directly or a fruit directly. You forgot even to climb a tree. When you climb a tree and you throw a stone and try to pluck a mango and eat, that is a hunger, that is a beautiful taste. Others and all are not do beautiful taste. Then you can never become a champion, you can never become a master. You can become a, a slave master, like I call it, they can become a slave doctor, a coolie doctor, a coolie engineer, but not a master engineer, master doctor. Now you can become a coolie Swamiji, but not a master Swamiji. You can become a coolie professor, a coolie teacher, but not a master teacher. That is what. When you are a master teacher, then you don't look into the books. Expressions and references keep flowing from left, right, front, back. Like Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, when he got the lamp on his hand, and he got deeply involved with the love of Ma, the Makali. He has only dance. He forgot that he's even doing the puja. He was deep in love and the, and the dance make people shock, shock the people. <laughs> and look, another one philosophy came up. Swami Vivekananda sprung up from nowhere. And that has become the biggest organization. Ramakrishna um, uh, Ashram has become the biggest organization in the world. It happens. It can happen. Getting deeply involved, creating the hunger of the love. That is very important. Ted Williams said, there's only one way to become a hater. You go up to the plate and get mad. To go up to the plate to get mad. Go to work out only when the hunger hits us tomorrow. Now the bell goes, doom, 8 o'clock breakfast, 12, 30, 1 o'clock lunch, 8 o'clock night dinner. What bloody nonsense is, you go to bell, the bell is controlling, you allow a remote control person to remote control you. You are already a slave, then don't talk about nationalism. You cannot, when the enemy enters the country, then you will say salute to the enemy. You will bell lick his leg. If you are not very strong, yes, there's only one way to become a hitter. Go up to the plate and get mad. Go up to the plate to get mad. To get mad, you have to work very hard. Hunger, when it comes, you cannot anymore hold on to the hunger. To want hunger to come, you have to only drink hot water, warm water, every two hours or three hours. Then you know, you work hard. You don't put on the fan. You don't sit in the AC room. Sweat is coming. You see the dress is getting soaked with your sweat. Only that person, whether you call it a software engineer, monkey engineer, or whatever engineer, if you can work hard, only you can leave the office. Only when you work hard, you can ask the wife to ask for a plate of food. Work hard. And automatically the wife can see the food has to come to your table. And it is tasty food. And a tasty sleep. And the tastiest love. And tastiest hug. Tastiest kiss. That's what Ted Williams was Trying to explain. That's only one way to become a hitter. Go up to the plate and get mad. 
get mad at Joseph and mad at the picture. This is my 159th shirt. This. 